All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content, and today we have first a look at raw gameplay footage and the entire character roster screen, I'm assuming. Before we go any further, massive thanks to this specific channel. I don't know what it says, but I'll be sure to have them linked down below in the description. Big W. So without further ado, make sure to drop a like on this video, and let's just react to this and break everything down. So first and foremost, we do have... Uh, three characters specifically on this team base and super Saiyan vegeta now for the characters yeah now we have the goku variants with all the, uh, their respective super Saiyan forms oh look at that look at the character screen when they switch characters look how smooth that is what <laughs> all right so real quick we have all of the balance stats oh very unfortunate i don't, I don't know what it says though that's fine at least we have the gameplay footage. Look at the character models. No way! Super Saiyan 3 looking kind of clean. <laughs> this is too great. God Goku, A with the correct uh, Gi as well. Wait, so I think, yeah, they're just going down the entire roster. All right. I should have just let the video play out. That's my bad, but hey, this is fine. This is cool. Oh, Super Vegeta. Super Vegeta. Look at the model. That's, that's original Super Saiyan Vegeta. And boom! Dun, 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 dun. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? <laughs> there we have Ent. All right, with the Majin Buu outfit and Halo. Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2. Epic, and then Majin. Uh, so it seems like, woo, he's kind of bulky as well. Nice. So, um, it seems like every transformation is a standalone character <laughs> because going back to the Tenkaichi days you would have to click on the base form and then another character row would pop up with the transformations right but here for sparking zero no everybody with all the different transformations are just on the main roster so that's that's cool i think moving forward uh-huh super vegeta now or vegeta from super so he has super saiyan and then god and blue Oh, yeah, the outfit, very different. It's more to the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. Gohan early, Gohan and, or whatever, you know, G Kid Gohan and Adult Gohan, respective Super Saiyan forms. Piccolo, so we only have one Piccolo, Krillin, Yamcha, Tien with the Super outfit. So they did confirm outfits already, uh, you know, different variants. I'm sure once they actually pick the character, we'll get to see all that. But here we have first look. At future trunks look at the character model the design epic super sand form Ooh. of course if you guys uh want to pause the video uh feel free but i'm just kind of uh, want to go through this as fast as possible just because we have it's a 10 minute video right uh super sand gogeta with the base form go back just a little bit just a little bit there he is so i noticed even with the transformations their idol stance is different nice so they're not just reskins different hair color transformations no they have a complete new skill set and move set so do keep that in mind yes every single transformation counts as a character <laughs> blue uh gogeta uh, frieza from super and his golden form specifically with the halo tournament power edition i guess you could say majin Buu, hercule berta the fastest warrior in the universe yeah they're literally just going down the entire roster i appreciate that First look at Android 17 from Super. Go ahead and go back a little bit more. I don't know what's taking forever. What the heck? Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. There he is. It's crazy how detailed every character is and with a massive roster, right? 164 characters. Dr. Zero! Confirmation of Dr. Zero! All right! That's like the first new character that we haven't seen just yet. We have Wrathful Broly. Super Saiyan Broly. And full power. Forgot. Oh, Beerus. <laughs> he floats down. Beerus, he, he, he's the only character with a very unique startup animation. He floats down. <laughs> and then Bergamo. Oh, first look out, Bergamo. No way. He's finally in the game. Of course, uh, within the last trailer, we got the... Um... His team ultimate, right? With Lavendale and Bazel. So that seems to be every character just for this specific beta slash demo. Alright, alright. Real quick. Before we go further, 
I do just want to replay the beginning part because it kind of started off like at the center of the roster. Oh no, it didn't. Yeah, it started at the, uh, the very beginning. I, I don't think I mentioned this, but Goku early, of course. Goku mid with fluffy hair Super Saiyan. Yep, there it is. I skipped, I skipped this entirely. And then we have Goku Super. Yeah, so on and so forth. Super Saiyan 2 and then Super Saiyan 3. Look at the hair model. Super Saiyan 2 is literally like the best looking Goku, right? All right, so th that's all the characters. Now we have the gameplay. Hercule versus Majin Buu. Interesting title card there. So, they're selecting their teams right now. One on one. Yeah, ca character select screen is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, I um, reacted to the Bandai Namco game mode trailer, and it makes sense now. So, I know why they didn't include like all the features within split screen local multiplayer because uh you can see the transition right here look at the transition you can't do this in offline split screen so it is a bit different and they had to limit it to just the hyperbolic time room right there it is the transition into combat no way so i, I do understand why uh, split screen is extremely limited plus with the you know destruction all over the place that being split screen uh, i mean they have to like Capture everything in all the different angles. All right, so gameplay Hercule, cool. Majin Buu. Oh, so Hercule can dash, but he can't necessarily fly. So an opponent who can fly versus uh, a human, pretty much. <laughs> oh, but he has the leap of faith. He can jump and float. Wait, can he fly? Oh no, he just he just uh, slowly floats down. That's what that was, <laughs> because obviously he can't uh, fly. I mean, he could learn it if he really wanted to. Because I'm sure any character from the Dragon Ball universe can learn the ability to fly. Um, but, uh, the cinematics, the super attacks. Yeah, you see how he just slowly descends. But real quick, real quick, I noticed the DBZ Broly sound design. Listen. <laughs> Hercule as strong as uh, full power Broly? Huh? <laughs> These cinematics, the animations, I love how fluid it is from the character select screen to gameplay and the, the super attacks going back to the gameplay. You know what I mean? Like the cutscenes, it, it, everything's just so smooth and fluid. Is that his charge? Oh, look at his charge animation, extremely unique. We have the confetti. I mean, he is the world martial arts master to be fair. Respect, respect. Majin Buu, look, look, how, look how cool it is. When the character charges, the environment changes. Oh! Wait, wait! Oh, oh, look at that! What the heck? What the heck? No, we have to rewind that real quick. So first and foremost, yep, this is Majin Buu's sparking mode. Hence the environmental change. Or Hercule. Hercule's uh, sparking mode. But I think this is his ultimate. This is definitely his ultimate. Or super, whichever one. But most likely his ultimate. Look! So, he, Majin Buu pops out of nowhere, and then look at Hercule's animation. He's like doing the punches, and then Majin Buu is doing the same exact thing. He's like, uh, uh, you know, you know, like controlling him in a way. That's cool. And with the uh, dynamite kick, dynamic entry, we still have that. So, for the input, something similar to um, Xenoverse, right? Where you have to press something and then the skill palette will appear. Yep, just like that. And then we have the X, Y, left, right, and up and down D-pads. Interesting, interesting. So, we, we've seen the ultimate and the charge sparking. And... Now, what is this? Oh, a power-up. That's one of his blast skill ones, I'm assuming. Alright, so going over the specific gameplay mechanics. Oh, 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 we have that move again! Let's go! The attack he used against Cell! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't necessarily do anything. But, of course, he'll, he will still take damage. Alright, so that's it for that gameplay. Nice. Let's see, we have... Oh, Uzaru! Uzaru! Uzaru mode! Going up against Beerus. <laughs> An interesting matchup for sure. 
You see how fluid that is from the character select screen to gameplay? It's like absolutely crazy. And the intros as well. Alright, this time around we'll try to go over the actual mechanics with the skill counts, the key bars, uh, what consumes what. I mean, we already have a general idea from the uh, original gameplay. Look at that! Look how puny the opponent is! Yo, the scale, the character's scaling size. I like how they uh, rearrange that, try to make things a bit more accurate. Obviously, they can't make the character extremely giant, but this is good enough. It's like actually perfect because remember in the anime when Uzaru Vegeta grabbed Goku and then, you know, started squeezing him. So I, I think it's like the same proportions. Everything is pretty anime accurate if you ask me. Look, we can go over to the water. Oh, gigantic mouth attack. Oh my gosh. So that definitely only uses key blast attacks super attacks ultimate attacks they only take up key they don't consume skill counts at all of course when you fly that drains key bar as well so wait 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 real quick unless beerus is going to attack again yeah it seems like we can't stun giant characters they have not necessarily super armor well i guess you can call it super armor oh the hakaishin key blast attack oh that knocked back even the giant character <laughs> Alright, real quick before we go to that. You, you see how Beerus is punching Vegeta. Oh, wait. No, we still get these stun animations. I take that back. Alright, it just happened a bit too fast. So, yeah, we can still stun giant characters. However, we're not necessarily sure if it's because this is Beerus we're talking about. You know, let's say if, if, if it's Krillin going up against Uzaru Vegeta. If, you know, they'll still take damage, but not necessarily the... Uh, flinching animations, but for Beerus, yeah, I guess that confirms it. It's still in the game, unless... Because you know how some characters have unique features that can do stuff like that, that's very hidden, that we have to find out ourselves, but we have Uzaru Vegeta's ultimate Super Gallic Gun! Oh my gosh, the impact frame! <laughs> no way! He won! He literally just destroyed the God of Destruction Beerus. And this one is Future Trunks from Super going up against Android 18. Oh, look at that! The team character stance. Where it shows every single character that you choose in one select screen. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wasteland Goku versus Vegeta. <laughs> Probably a unique dialogue interaction, right? see what's going on oh oh so when you get close to a giant rock or something it kind of dis just disappears right that's just for the camera for you know what's going on so i like how they did that oh the dashes we have the dashes oh dude android 17 just oh the destruction oh transform so that's how you transform something similar to the raging blast series interesting so, we, oh, wait, 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 is that rage? Is that rage? Is that rage? He has the blue aura. Honestly, I'm not sure if that's rage because you see that the blue hue within the yellow aura. That's, of course, uh, supposed to be exclusive to rage. But if this is his original Super Saiyan, then that's definitely interesting. Hey, so be it. So be it, right? I think this is his original Super Saiyan, though, just because that was already confirmed and it's on the official Sparking Zero site. So it seems like all of the characters from the official site, plus a few more, are in this specific demo. So I noticed that Trunks has another transformation icon at the top left. Oh, he utilizes his sword. I mean, of course. <laughs> oh, I think he just used the skill count. What was that called? One of the new skill count features. Where you're up close, you can just completely snap vanish and do damage. Oh, we have the transition, character transition. Oh, energy barrier from Android 17. Oh, Gohan missed that. So, Gohan, once the energy bar at the top left, the blue one, fills up, he's going to be getting a transformation icon, right? And then that will let him... See, just like that. And now he can transform into Super Saiyan. But let's see if he does that. Android 17 Super doesn't have a transformation icon because obviously, yeah, <laughs> they can't transform. I mean, unless Dragon Ball GT, they fuse, you know, Android 17 with Android 17. There it is! There it is! Super Saiyan! Super Saiyan! Look at the top left corner of the character portrait. It also changes as well. Like how they did that. Transform to Super Saiyan 2, though. Is he? Is he about to? So to transform, it takes 
a skill count and transformation icon, right? Of course, if you just want to watch the gameplay by itself, then I'll have, again, the channel linked down below in the description. Oh! Oh! Super uh, Masenko! Super explosive Masenko! So, it, it seems a bit tied right now. Yeah, they both have... Oh, actually, Andrew 17 is winning a little bit. Charge up, charge up. Oh, what is this? Oh! That was new, I think. Let's go ahead and rewind that. Oh, no, that's... that's uh, That could be the Energy Blast Volley. Yeah, I think it is. Or unless it's like a different Energy Shot type thing. So, again, the mechanics. Look at the battle damage from Android 17. Gohan is winning for sure. We have, you know, the short dashes, which is what they've been using. So that's Super Saiyan 2. Ooh. Ooh. Epic. Same animation as Super Saiyan, I think. But yeah, the new mechanic in terms of uh, dashing, that's like the boost dash from Classic Tenkaichi series, but it's always implemented. So you just move around. And we have the Vanishing Assaults, which takes up key. You know, you approach the opponent instantly. And there's like the revenge counter and super perception. The super perception is the deflect. I don't think they used that just yet. Of course, we're not going to be witnessing everything in a single match, but that's totally fine. Oh, we got the screenshot. I recognize that. Oh, the ultimate. Woo! Oh, sword of hope. So that was actually his sword of hope ultimate the whole time. So this is a super Saiyan rage. Oh. Nice. Dr. Jero. <laughs> so that that was Super Saiyan Rage. Final Flash, Final Flash. Shout outs to Vegeta, like father, like son. Oh, time's up. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Look at the cinematic outro. All right. Once again, massive thanks to this channel for uh, you know providing the raw footage of the character select screen and a couple battles. Thank you guys for the immense support as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.